Our Fox 5 Eye team has learned a new grand jury subpoena has been issued for records relating to another City Hall employee. Yeah, that's right. The employee is married to the former Chief of Staff, Deputy Chief of Staff for Mayor Kasim Reed and Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. Senior Eye Team reporter Dale Russell is here now with the latest. Sine, there is a lot going on at City Hall and every day it's something new. First, since we first broke the story about Mayor Kasim Reed's bonuses for a select number of employees, Four more employees have returned the money to the city. Police Chief Erica Shields, as we told you, has already returned hers. Now department heads Tim Keene, Faye Demasio, and Stephanie Stuckey Benfield, along with an HR employee, paid back their bonus money. And while Mayor Bottoms today talked about putting the FBI investigation behind her, the city is hit with yet another grand jury subpoena. I am working towards becoming a great mayor. On a day when Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms touted the accomplishments of her administration, she still faced questions about the ongoing FBI investigation at City Hall. It's overshadowed a lot of the good work that we have done. Since early 2017, we have watched as FBI agents carried a top Atlanta City employee's computer and cell phone out of City Hall and later raided a city vendor's office. We've seen a parade of contractors and city employees convicted on charges relating to that ongoing FBI IRS investigation. We've also seen subpoenas for Mayor Kasim Reed and his brother Tracy Reed's city credit card bills and a bribery indictment for one of the mayor's 2009 campaign consultants and later department head. What can you tell us about this indictment? Now the latest grand jury subpoena. The federal grand jury is seeking records relating to the husband of Mayor Kasim Reed and Mayor Bottoms' deputy chief of staff, Katrina Taylor Parks. Through an open records request, the Fox 5 I team obtained a copy of this federal grand jury subpoena. It asked for all personnel, employment, disciplinary history, and payroll records for DeAnthony Parks. Parks has worked for the city during the past eight years. The subpoena also asks for any work DeAnthony Parks has done as a contractor with the city. Now, one city hall source tells me DeAnthony Parks has never had a contract with the city, nor have any of the companies he's been associated with. And I'm told he was never a subcontractor on any work done with the city. Parks is currently an investigator at the solicitor's office. And Mr. Parks told us he understands the FBI's investigative process. He has no problem and is cooperating fully. Tom Sine. A lot of questions still swirling around these bonuses and just what happened leading up to them. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see how this all plays yeah. out. City Council is going to be meeting Monday. They're going to discuss probably two more investigations, a resolution already underway. That would be yet two more investigations of City Hall surrounding Mayor Kasim Reed's uh, tenure there. And we'll have to see whether the legality issue can be answered conclusively. Wow. All right, we know you'll continue to follow it. We will. Thank you, Dale. Thank you, Dale.